Hey, hey up, Chatter Chatter gang. gang. We're here in Blackpool for Pride Weekend. And we're staying this time at Lembrook Guest House. Because he's Colin. He's Tim. And together, together we yeah, are the Chatter guys. guys. Come on, let's get in. Hello, welcome to room number one at the Lembrook. Do come in. Wow, that's, that's lovely. I think this is the nicest decorated room that we've been in in Blackpool. It's absolutely lovely. Uh, we'll show you downstairs later, but it's equally nice down wow. there. So you can see dressing table here for Colin. That's a nice, nice big dressing table. Yeah, decent size mirror. You usually do like a full length mirror, don't you? I've, I've the got set. a decent one there. You've got two. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice uh, table lamp. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> now then, Colin, you are the art connoisseur in the family. What do you think of this picture? It's very... Uh, I like that. Yes, I like that one. <laughs> wow. And a lovely chair there. And I'd say that's a 40, 42 TV, 42 inch. And uh, would you like me to count the uh, coat hangers? No, I shall count the coat hangers. Okay. We've got... Sorry, I was overstepping my mark. Yorkshire tea. Uh, PG, so there are plenty of tea bag choices. Yeah, no shortbread this time. Oh yes, two uh, shortbreads. And I'm counting, just to be on the safe side, <laughs> I'm counting how many cookies there is, because Tim's good at nicking these when I'm not watching. God damn. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look. Spotless cups. Let's have a look at the kettle. Kettle's clean. Uh, water, look, complimentary water. Wow. And there's the drinks prices there, that looks uh, really reasonable at the bar. And would you like to see the bathroom? Oh yes, show us the bathroom, Tim. Right, uh, I've not looked in here yet, so I don't know what to expect. There you go. Very light. And uh, that's very big. It is a decent size, isn't it? And the toilet's very, uh, the shower's very big for uh, Blackpool as well. Let's see the shower. Oh. Very impressive. It's very clean. It's very smells really, really fresh. Spot. It smells so fresh. It's unbelievable. Wow. The the most critical factor of any B and B room, in fact, any hotel room, is the number of coat hangers. Yeah. Colin, would you like to do the honours? And we all know what, how many coat hangers should there be? Then there should be six, six coat per hangers guest. per guest. So there's should be twelve. So let's have a count. So we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, th th eight. Eight. So, so we're four missing. However, it is summer and we will not need so many with his cotton shorts. No, we won't need so many. They are good quality coat hangers and they are those that you can take off as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll be fine with that. And we've also got, got somewhere to put our suitcases. A luggage holder. Wow. wow. You don't always get them. No, you do not. There you go. So, Tim, what's your first impression? Oh, brilliant. I love it. Uh, uh, yeah, this looks like the best room that we've had in Blackpool ever. Wow. It looks really, really good. Really good. Now then, Colin, could you do the bed test? I will. Quite happily. You better not be spreading out like that tonight, I tell you. How did you find your breakfast? I found it really good. I thought the quality of the ingredients was perfect. Um, the hosts, Stuart and Chris, were really attentive and made sure that all the guests were uh, okay with everything. Um, good, qual uh, good quality, really like the coffee. 
um, filtered coffee, but it was really nice. Uh, so yeah, top marks from me. What about you, Tim? Yeah, I, I was very happy with the breakfast. Um, everything was, was nicely cooked, nicely presented. Uh, we got cereals this time, which we yeah. didn't get the last place we stayed at. Um, I would have liked a slice of fried bread, uh, slice of fried bread. <laughs> Um, but you have to book uh, breakfast in advance and not just the night before. Yeah, If you stay for the weekend, you have to book it for two days. Uh, so I'm in two minds about because it, I think it's really good because they're not wasting food by mm. cooking things that you mm. don't want. Uh, but I also think, well, what if you change your mind? Um, but Stuart seems very flexible, doesn't he? He did. There were a guest that couldn't make it down for breakfast this morning. She were a bit hungover, weren't she? She had a good night out yeah. last night, a lady in the next room to us. <laughs> Uh, but they did offer to uh, help her out and make her a bacon sandwich or take her some toast up later, so I, I'm sure they would have been accommodating. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, they're both nice guys. Uh, so, yeah, very happy with breakfast. And you also get the benefit of this little terrace, which is a proper sun trap. And here are the owners, Mark and Stuart. So that's the Lembrook guest house. Colin, what are your final thoughts? Oh, it was a beautiful uh, stay. The hosts, Stuart and Mark, were very welcoming from start to finish. We only knew them very briefly before we stayed here, but we're leaving as if they're really good friends. The, ro the rooms, every room is spotlessly clean and furnished to a very high standard. Very comfortable stay. The shower was perfect. You know I love my shower. Absolutely brilliant. I loved it. And what are your thoughts, Tim? I agree with every word, Colin. Absolutely loved it from start to finish. It cost us £175 for two nights, which is £87.50 per night. Definitely well worth the money, I would say. Yeah, I would definitely pay that. And uh, would you stay again, Colin? 100%. Definitely. No question for me, I'd definitely come back. We would definitely recommend to this to the Chatter Gang. Thanks for watching, Chatter Gang. If you do like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on any of our future videos, please subscribe because it'll cost you absolutely, absolutely not. not. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.